Hi, it's Dr. LJ, and in the last Mominar, I showed you how to renew your car's registration with the DMV. I also mentioned that sometimes you have to get a smog test. A smog test, which is also called an emissions test, measures the amount of harmful fumes your car is emitting into the air. Not every state requires one. Some states only require cars registered in certain counties to have a smog test every year. You'll know whether or not this is required when your registration renewal notice comes in the mail. If so, this is how you do it. It's very easy these days. You can find one by doing an internet search, smog tests near me. These places are everywhere. The machine required to do the test is mobile, so often the smog place is a small hut or just an umbrella outside of a repair shop. It costs between $20 and $35 to have this test performed. The test is very quick. It only takes about a minute or two and you usually do not need an appointment. The technician will connect your car to what is called an OBD2 scanner. It reads the codes on your car's computer. If you have a car that's older than 1997 or doesn't have a computer, they'll have to do it the old fashioned way of sticking a probe in the exhaust pipe, but the same goal is accomplished. Once you pass the test, you'll be given a certificate of passing. You can hold on to this until your new tags come in the mail if you want. The information from the test goes directly to the DMV right away. In my state, we have online registration renewal and I use that. So when I get home, I go to the DMV website. The past results are already there. I pay the fee and I'm done. If you try to register without a smog test, they're going to know and you'll get this message. If you register through the mail or at the DMV, you might need the certificate of passing with you. So hold on to it in case you're asked for it. If you fail the test, you are going to have to go to a mechanic and have the repairs done in order to pass. The smog test people will not be able to tell you why you failed. The machine does not give out that information. But hold on to the certificate, especially if you fail because often the place where you had this test done will charge a much lesser amount for a retest. And that's nice. Here's some ways you can increase your chances of passing a smog test. One, maintain your car regularly. Oil changes, tune-ups, fluid levels, filter changes. Take care of all of that. Number two, don't get a smog test if your check engine light is on. You have to get that fixed. Many times it's just a bad sensor and not something wrong with the car, but it has to be cleared before you can pass smog. Three, drive on the highway before you go in to burn off oil and fuel residue. Four, change your oil before the test. Make sure the oil is fresh and clean and that you have a new filter. And five, get a tune up, but wait two weeks before doing a smog test so that the computer can reset itself. If you like this Mominar, make sure you share it and hit the like button. And subscribe, a new Mominar is posted every week. And check out the How to Life podcast. I have an episode coming up that is dedicated entirely on how to maintain your car for beginners. Make sure you don't miss that, and I'll see you here next time.